China accuses U.S. of information conflict as tensions rise over down balloon incident. North Korea shocks the world with ICBM display, U.S. defense system threatened. The failure of Putin's brutal strike, Russian Navy struggles in Ukraine conflict. Poland goes on a military spending spree with 2.24 billion euro investment in second-hand vehicles. Enjoy watching and don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on important news. On Thursday, China declared that the United States allegations that a Chinese balloon that was brought down was part of an extensive monitoring initiative constitute information conflict against China. The Pentagon had stated on Wednesday that the balloon that was shot down near the South Carolina coast over the weekend was part of a larger program comprising multiple airships that China has been using for several years. At the daily briefing, Mao Ning, a spokesperson for the Chinese Foreign Ministry, repeated China's stance that the large unmanned balloon was a civilian meteorological airship that had gotten off track by accident and that the U.S. had taken excessive action by shooting it down. It's an irresponsible statement, Mao stated during the briefing, and these recent accusations could be a component of the U.S.'s information conflict against China. U.S. authorities have rejected China's assertions and agents from the FBI and the Naval Criminal Investigative Service are collecting and transferring debris found in the ocean for further examination. Senior administration officials informed members of Congress about the Chinese balloon surveillance program and classified sessions on Wednesday and Thursday. Secretary of State Antony Blinken canceled his scheduled trip to Beijing this week due to the incident, hindering attempts to prevent further decline in bilateral relations, which have reached their lowest point in decades. North Korea recently put on display a significant number of missiles that have the potential to overpower the United States defense system, presenting a challenge to years of denuclearization and homeland security efforts. The state-run media reported North Korea's military showing off 10 to 12 Wasong-17 intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBMs, during a parade in Pyongyang. The U.S., however, has limited ground-based interceptors stationed in Alaska and California, which can shoot down incoming ICBMs. If each of North Korea's weapons can carry four warheads, they may be able to launch more warheads than the number of interceptors that the U.S. has. For some time, U.S. officials and experts have believed that it was only a matter of time before North Korea would overcome the missile defense problem. Although the Wasong-17 has the capability to reach the United States from North Korea, the country has not yet proven that the warhead can survive re-entry and hit its target from such a distance. The message from North Korea and its leader, Kim Jong-un, is clear, the U.S. cannot stop them. This display of defiance highlights the country's impressive military advancement and the Western world's failure to disarm the ruling Kim family of their weapons. Critics of the ground-based mid-course defense system, GMD, argue that it would not require many North Korean missiles to surpass it. It may only take one missile to get past it. James Acton, co-director of Carnegie's nuclear policy program, stated that testing of the GMD has been unrealistic and has only been tested at night once, failing. He added that the sun makes it easier to track the re-entry vehicle carrying the warhead, which is why experts believe an adversary might launch ICBMs at night. The Biden administration has taken a hands-off approach to North Korea, but this has not been a deliberate move. North Korea has not responded to the administration's invitation to hold talks without any prerequisites. The goal is to get Pyongyang to discuss concerns in the relationship, but so far, all efforts have been rejected. In the meantime, the U.S. has grown closer to South Korea and Japan, which has agitated North Korea. The country has repeatedly expressed its anger at the resumption and augmentation of joint U.S.-South Korea military exercises, which it perceives as a prelude to war. 
To bolster its arsenal and counteract the drills, North Korea launched an unprecedented number of cruise and ballistic missiles during 2022. On February 24, 2022, Russian President Vladimir Putin started a brutal conflict in Ukraine through his special military operation. The operation has revealed the weaknesses of the Russian military, particularly in the case of the Russian Black Sea Fleet, BSF, which suffered significant losses against Ukrainian naval forces. The BSF was jointly based with the Ukrainian Navy at the port of Sevastopol in Crimea until 2014. Despite Putin's determination to achieve total victory, the Russian Navy's contributions to the conflict have been lackluster and problematic. While the Russian Navy successfully blockaded Ukrainian ports and launched missiles against Ukrainian targets, it failed to control strategically important Snake Island and failed to carry out decisive amphibious operations along Ukraine's coastline despite having command of the sea. The primary mission of the Russian Navy remains strategic deterrence, which is provided by its ballistic missile submarines, SSBNs, based with the Northern and Pacific fleets. The Russian Navy has launched plans to modernize, including the construction of new, heavily armed warships. The modernization will put a strain on Russia's financial resources, particularly in the case of Soviet naval aviation. Despite the widespread condemnation of its actions in Ukraine, Russia has a few allies, including China, who are willing to participate in joint military exercises. Later this year, the Russian Navy's operations might be observed firsthand as it is one of the 47 countries invited to participate in the Indonesian Navy's multilateral naval exercise Komodo, scheduled for June 2023. The exercise will give the United States the opportunity to observe the Russian naval operations. Poland has invested 2.24 billion euros in second-hand military vehicles as part of its efforts to modernize its military forces following a spike in spending after the conflict in Ukraine began. This information was reported by the WNP.pl portal. The country's order included 189 K2 tanks and 212 K9 howitzers, as well as 18 K239 Chunmu self-propelled rocket artillery launchers and 48 FA-50 combat training aircraft. National Defense Minister Mariusz Blazak stated that the cost for the K2 tanks was 3.14 billion euros and the cost for the K9 howitzers was 2.24 billion euros. These purchases were made from South Korea last year. According to WNP.pl, which analyzed the purchases from Asia, the military equipment was used by the South Korean military and had been manufactured between 2008 and 2010. The equipment had to undergo necessary maintenance and refurbishment before being shipped to Poland. The expiration date of the South Korean vehicles was redefined, resetting their resources and defining a new safe service life. WNP.pl pointed out that it was unlikely that the equipment was new as it would have been difficult to secure new equipment within such a short period of time, which was only three months to finalize the contract for delivery. The portal also noted ambiguities about the target configuration of the equipment and rapid changes in the information about what was being purchased. However, the journalists from the portal emphasized the strong military and economic cooperation between Poland and South Korea, which is highlighted by Poland's large purchases from the Asian nation. 